Hello, I'm Dr. James Donaldson. I'm a pediatric radiologist and I work at the Children's Memorial Hospital in Chicago. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about pediatric ultrasound of the head. Ultrasound is ideally suited to image soft tissues. It works similar to sonar, where sound waves are bounced off of underwater objects to create an image. Similarly, ultrasound can be used to image the liver, kidneys, and gallbladder, but it cannot penetrate bone or see through air. Since the baby's skull is not yet closed, we can use ultrasound to look between the bones of the skull and see the brain. On the right, you can see an ultrasound machine that we typically use to image the infant's brain. The examination is performed by a technologist, and they use a small transducer or wand. They place the wand on the fontanelle or soft spot of the baby's head. The whole examination takes about 5 to 10 minutes, and it's painless for the baby. The, the technologist angles the transducer from front to back and from side to side, recording a series of images or sometimes even a movie of the entire child's brain. Here you can see a series of typical images obtained during an ultrasound of a child's brain. The images are then reviewed and interpreted by a radiologist. An official report is created, and the results of that study are communicated to the other doctors caring for the child. Ultrasound can be used to look for bleeding inside of the baby's brain. It can be used to look for fluid both inside and outside of the brain. Some birth defects, tumors, and brain injuries can also be detected by an ultrasound study. On the left is an image of a normal child's brain. The arrows point to little slits or fluid inside of the chambers or ventricles of the brain, a normal amount. On the right, however, the arrows point to dilated ventricles or chambers, indicating that there's too much fluid inside of the brain. This is referred to as hydrocephalus. Why use ultrasound? Because it can be done very quickly. Sedation is not required and it's very portable. The ultrasound machine can actually go to the nursery where the baby is being cared for without having to bring the baby down to the radiology department. There are some limitations, however. Ultrasound has some limitation in its resolution. There is limited visibility because we're looking through the small fontanelle or small window into the entire brain. And of course it can't be used after the fontanelles or soft spots have closed, usually around one year of age. A squirming child may also limit the success of the study. Ultrasound does not replace a CT or an MRI examination. Both of these studies have better ability to view the entire brain, but both are much more involved examinations in an infant. In summary, ultrasound is an effective and reliable way to evaluate an infant's brain, and in many situations it may be the only diagnostic test needed. There are some limitations, however, and additional examinations may be necessary. Thank you. Recorded February 2011. For more information and updates, please visit radiologyinfo.org.